what's going on everybody it's doing card breaks so what we have here today is a box of 1990 bowman now this is considered more like a junk wax error and stuff like that but what people don't realize is that if you could find a psa 10 inside your box it pays for way over the box so you could usually find these anywhere from five to ten bucks i'd say for a box that they're not really that expensive but inside it, you have Frank Thomas. It's his rookie year, so that will fetch you probably about seventy dollars for a PSA ten. So you got that Bernie Williams, Sammy Sosa, I believe Chipper Jones was one in here. Some of the other ones I can think of that still sell well is like uh, John Olerud because the pop on him and I think Fryman is really low. Uh, Nolan Ryan's in it, of course. So, we're a buster on open. We're going to see what we can get. And we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff just because I need to get a big PSA order in. And I need to move some of this stuff out of the old area. So, pretty cool. Oh, just so you guys can see, no gum, just cards. Guaranteed. And this was on there already. So, Bowman went away from the gum, unlike the 89 we opened up uh, before. So, oh. There we go. Come on, girl. There we are. I'm, trying, I'm kind of at an angle here, and I'm trying to cut this, and it just does not want to play well with me today. There we go. So these are pretty cool. It's just something older. I want to say these are probably back in the day. Oh, they lied. There is gum. <laughs> no gum, just cards. Yep, yeah, they lied. I, th I thought there was gum in these. No, we're not eating the gum either. Now, the gum does look a lot better than most of our gum. Ah, but it cracked it already. But it, it's not bad. So you will get a couple that have like the stain error. So we're going to throw those off over there. So they had these cool things in here. They were kind of just like your redemptions. and or Not redemptions, but um, sweepstakes from back in the day. So, like I said, trying to find something that's uh, going to be a PSA 10 is a hard one in this stuff. Don't get me wrong. But if you can land a couple, or what you think is a couple, you do pretty well. Eric Anthony used to be big back in the day. Oops, sorry guys, I lost the focus there. People used to be all over him. Throw these up here. But I figured it would be something different to do. And I'm going to tell you all what. <laughs> this week, we're going to do something unheard of. I have 320 packs of 89 Don Russ come in I want. I think we're going to do it all up. Stan has to gum. You can even see up in here. That's why I said a lot of this stuff from the gum age, man, you, you got to just be careful and lucky with. That goes up there. So Tom Glavin, very nice card. But it's not going to give us a 10 at all because of the centering. And this is one of the ones you got to have very good centering or just not worth going into. As you can see, all the tops on these were pretty much, well, we got Sammy Sosa. There's Ben McDonald back in the day. Oh, Sandy Oliver. I thought it was, dang, I thought it was Sammy Sosa. I read it too quick. I saw the yes, wasn't really paying attention. But like I said, Jim Abbott. Now this here would be like a candidate to send in for PSA 10 there. Ripken, very off-centered. But it's a chance you take for what we consider the junk wax there. It's hard to hit the PSA 10s, don't get me wrong. Don't go thinking, oh, I'm going to get a PSA 10 per box because it will not happen. You may have cards in there that are 10 worthy, but it's not going to be worth your money. And when you're doing a bulk submission, if you have the account, it's kind of worth it in a way because, you know, you take a chance at eight bucks. Because you know you're going to have a lot of other cards that are going to grade for you, the newer stuff. There you go. Marquise Grissom. Our gum stain dude. Greg Vaughn, people liked him back in the day too. Riho. Yeah, one thing I messed up on, I didn't bring something to throw this thing. I, I thought there was no gum when I saw the sticker. 
see down here what we got. I just don't want any of the crazy animals coming in here trying to eat it while I'm opening this stuff for everybody. But it'd be kind of cool. I bet you'll probably get at least a Frank Thomas probably in here, maybe a so so. Like I see, uh, look at that, that is just crazy mold on it. That's our flipper. Oh. Oh, man. Camera just not want to play with us. There we go. Sammy Sosa. Now, on this here, by looking at it, you could tell left or oh, top and bottom is what's going to get you on this. The bottom corner down there, a little bit dingy. But I'm going to sleeve it just for now so you see what we got there at the end. But definitely not a PSA 10 on that. Probably going like a 50 cent box. Look at this. All that wax. And if I say the other names I'm flipping through here, I'll stop and we'll take a look at them. But I wasn't going to lie with it. I think we might go live with the 89 Donruss 320 packs. That will be stacks on stacks. Maybe a Friday night thing. What we'll do is just get a couple of these out here at a time. Man, I missed a box of this gum. And yeah, while well, you guys do know, streamcardbreaks.com is live and open for business. We just have cards for sale. We will start getting the breaks in there. Couple weeks, couple weeks. We'll be back in the business. But slowly, where did the other piece of gum go? Oh, there it is. Uh, slowly, slowly coming around to where I need to be. Do a couple packs at a time just for the fact that when you start opening this stuff. It's only 36 packs, so. But, like I said, you never know. Will Clark, great player from back in the day. Bernie Williams. Now, this is one that's another one people like. We're close, very close on this centering on to it. Edges, corners look pretty good. Back looks good. This might be a maybe, this send. I'd have to really get something out to measure it to look. Left and right look very close to the top and bottom. I think a 10 on the Bernie's around like 30 bucks. But you never know. I mean, this here, I have, I'm starting to put some of these together. That I know at the end I'm just going to be like, forget, I'm just going to send them all here for like 150. That'd be one big PSA show there for us. Then if they does a great tens, we'll probably just toss on eBay. The rest will go in the store. Pedro Guerrero. Lenny Dykstra. Greg Jeffries. Man, we talk about that dude so much, religiously. Always getting balls autographed. John Olaru. Now, this is a guy who wasn't around real long, from what I recall. But I'm going to spend a lot of time on these. I'm just going to sleeve it. I'll look at these later. He's close. I think Olaru's around 20 bucks. So that's what I'm saying, though. When you buy this stuff here, don't count on a ton of PSA 10s. But you got to think about it. how many people throw this stuff away. You're like, oh, there's nothing in this. When you start looking at eBay auctions, what's closed, and that's what starts making you think, man, but it's a long process, you got to remember. 
you're going to talk about a 60 days, probably take it 80 days. So you're looking probably six months to get these cards back. So it's not smart to go out and go invest, you know, a good big chunk of money right off the bat into doing this because you end up going bankrupt. I don't know why I'm getting my finance devices, but I'm just giving you stuff that I've seen, stuff that I've done, and where I went wrong at. Boy, I go wrong a lot of different places, but... You know, everybody's all into this stuff now, grading rookies. Look at, like, Topps updates, Topps Chrome regular rookies. You know, you guys get in the breaks, and you're like, oh, I didn't hit the know, Tatis Auto. But while you're in there, you hit, like, four Chrome rookies, you know, Topps Chrome, Bowman Chrome, whatever they are. Man, I take a chance to send them in a good grade to try to get part of my money back from the break. That That's just my thinking. But like I said, junk wax there, there's certain stuff you look at, and you can't always go to the PSA price guide with the stuff. you got to look at eBay sales to know where you're at, because there's a lot of sets that aren't on there, and there's a lot of stuff people are looking for. So, just do your due, due diligence before you start investing crazy amounts of money. Me, I either find these out, or I win them in razes, so... You know, I might get three or four different vintage boxes for like, I don't know, six per, and I took three spots. So I'm at 18 bucks. So I'm not really in a real heap of, of you know, spending a ton of money where some people would be like, oh, well, I spent $80 on this. Some people, that's a lot of money, 80 bucks, you got to remember. All right, here. Let's see if we can pull. Another nice card here. I think Griffey's like an $18 card. I mean, you spend 8 bucks to get it graded. Say you put it on eBay, you lose 2 bucks. You make 8 bucks. It's all about paying nickel down instead of hitting the big stuff. That's just my my two cents into it. Ah, Billy Ripken. The FF Batman, Frank Viola. Ricky Henderson. Yep, I already put it aside, Brian. No worries. All yours. There's a little stain on to it, but I remember I got stuff for you. And I keep forgetting to send it every time you get something from me. Man. Andy Van Slyke. Wade Boggs! That's good old Rutz buddy there. Well, that's that, that first two rows, we've gotten three cards that people look for tens. I said maybe one has a chance. Just keep going. That's what we do. Get going. You gotta find them. Treasure hunting. Oh, Bernie Williams on bottom. I like that. Won't be on bottom no more, buddy. So, hopefully, everybody's having a good Sunday. I wanted to do this video again, upload before football started. Guys, please remember subscribe to the channel, check out the store. It's, it's going to be hopping, and store will be hopping and popping full force end of the year. I'm just saying. I don't know how much stuff's going to be in by graded, but it'll be going. And then as I start getting these PSA 10s and stuff in, they're going to go on there. Get your crack at it. Get the breaks. Get some free credit. Use it to get a card in the store. Use it as break credit. It's all coming. It is all going to be there for you guys. We're going to be doing uh, Friday Night Lights. And we'll be doing a little bit of a... Uh, oh, nobody's really in here. Um, I meant for animal-wise. I was looking where I threw that. 
We'll be doing Saturdays. Wednesdays will be release day breaks. And then Friday, Saturday will be other breaks. So, it's all coming in, in there. Don't worry. And we'll still be having the quarterly card show here in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Willie Randolph. There's some great names in this. Chico Lean, Cal Ripken, really off-centered. John Olerud again. Now this one here. No, it's it's pretty bad. And I'll just show you, compared to the one I sleeved, you guys can see the difference in centering, hopefully. But, like I said, I'm going to sleeve them. I'm going to look at them more later. Uh, some of the ones I'm really just, I have, I have to get the loofah tool out, take a look at edges and corners. Because you, you want this stuff to be pristine or have your best chance of getting it to a 10. Uh, some great names there. Another Will Clark. Myrna Williams again. Top and bottom got him on this already. Way worse than the one I told you I think might come close. And you can just see there. It's a little bit higher on top. Not by much. But I'm going to take a look at what these people have been getting graded as PSA 10s and we'll see. Sometimes you just have a good shot that day. Do -do 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 -do. We haven't even seen a Nolan Ryan, Griffey, no Frankies yet, no Sammies. What's going on? Let me see a Sammy. Oh, I mean, that's just gross. Keeping right on there. What was that first card? Oh, we did have one Sammy. I take it back. It's like, wait a minute. I thought we had a Sammy. PSA 10 hunting. I was going to come live for this, but I just didn't really want to bore everybody today. I just blew it on there. Ugh. Yeah, that's just bad. I know some of you guys like to watch it live, but at least here you can be like, oh, I'm going to fast forward to the end. We got about four rows after this. I saw Williams at the end of this name, and I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" Another Bernie Mac. I call him Bernie Mac Williams. Yes, it's not his name. Now it's gonna be trending on Twitter. Hashtag Bernie Mac Williams. Tony Gwynn, starting to see some different players now. Gary Sheffield, rookie was the year prior. Mark Grace. Barry Bonds.
Oh, different names. Oh, two checklists. I've been two checklists in one pack. That would upset me back in the day. I used to hate getting checklists. Alrighty. Start another row. I think there's three rows after this then. I'll show you what we pulled out of it. Maybe have the hopes of uh, for the amount we paid to get a PSA 10, make a little money. Now, like I said, this is all future money that's made off of this. It's nothing like, oh, it's instant. It's way down the road money. This is the kind of stuff I do. I just have been lacking on doing it. So I figured I'd share the fun of it with everybody in the group. And we're almost close to 1,000 people in the group, or in the group in the, on YouTube subscribers. So we hit that. It could be a nice giveaway. Just saying. Subscribe. So then pay attention to that video, because as soon as we hit 2,000, we'll do a video. And it's going to be all off of comments. Comments being registered in the store, because that way... I could go on there and find you and have your stuff mailed out to you personally. This stuff here is all garbage. It either has gum stains on or they're sweepstakes. I'll show you some of the cards I add to the store, too. Even though it'll be a regular video, but some of you guys at the end. I'm telling you, there's one in there. It's underpriced. Way underpriced. And I even posted about it. I don't think anybody's paying any attention. Oral Hershizer. Robin Ventura. Remember when him and uh, Nolan, he charged Nolan Ryan at the mound? Well, it really shows you my age. Cecil Fielder. Steve Sachs. Fred McGriff. Greg Jeffries again. I'm going to take these rest of these packs out here without knocking the camera over. Like I said, there's not much left. There's probably, yeah, 12 left. But I'm just using it so I can get the garbage in this box. So I'm going to pull a Frankie to show everybody. I don't know most of you guys probably know what it looks like, but I just like pulling them. Oh! Uh, Juan Gonzalez with the gum stain. That was another one I was thinking. I couldn't remember who it was. Juan G. Dang, that sucks. I used to love these. Actually, I'm going to keep it for my PC. Man, Gonzalez just screwed me. It's even through it. You can't do nothing about it. I'll show you. See the stain going through the gum? That's what happens with the gum error, guys. That's why I tried not to get a whole lot of the old, older stuff that has got me because I know I'm going to cry. Yeah, somebody's told me I should start posting my DraftKings picks for the week. Okay, let me tell y'all guys something. The most, I get in the dollar ones, right? I don't, I'm not a professional DraftKings. The most I've won in one week was like 35 bucks, And that was like having like eight different teams in there. So I am far from being an expert on that. So I just do it because I have an account. I have some money in it. And yeah. I, I dream big. So you do not want advice from me on DraftKings.
I do appreciate some people asking about it, but uh, you definitely do not want anything from me on DraftKings. All I know is everybody tries to stack pitcher or pitchers. Dear goodness, um, quarterbacks and receivers, and trust me, I've never picked the right combo. And had, or if I did, the rest of the dudes I picked sucked. Last week, oh, honestly, if I would have took Wayne Gallman and I didn't, because I'm gonna be a bust in three of my lineups, it would have been my biggest payday off of eight spots. I usually do like eight a week. I would have been over a hundred bucks. That's just by pure luck, though. All right, here we go. Walla Joiner. That was pretty country, huh? Roger Clemens. Bo Jackson. It's just angled wrong. If you look, the picture is tilted. It sucks. Chuck Knobloch. Bonilla, still getting paid. Puckett. Wally Backman. Do not remember him on the Pirates for some reason. Remember him always being on the Mets. Seiko. Looks like we got six packs left to pull <laughs> Frank Thomas in. Like I said, as you guys can see, these were made by Sheets. And they did them by like A, B, C, D, E, I think. I don't know how many you had. So you could get boxes that don't produce nothing. But this here is like to me is low risk with a higher reward because of what I pay into it with the possibility of a PSA 10 back. So I mean, honestly, if you could triple your money off of one card that you bought a box plus the grade. Not bad. All right, I can't wait until we get 320 packs at 89 Donruss. That is going to be insane. I still can't believe we hit we hit two two uh, different rises today for 160 packs each. I just hoping to maybe get one. If we hit the first two, I was like, man, if I hit this last one, it's 480 packs. I mean, 320 is a big number to begin with, but I was like, wow. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. Top and bottom's a little off. Just a little, huh? Wear a sleeve her up. It'll go into one of my stuff for 50 cents at the card shows. A lot of people don't have, everybody's like always wants to get this newer stuff and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just to me, I mean, if I do hit something, it's going to cost me a good bit of money to hit it normally. Then I got to go get it graded where something like this gives me something to do for a while. Oh, another Nolan Ryan. Yes. Two of them like that. 
All right, last six packs, all right here, guys. Then we'll recap her, and you guys can get on to your Sunday football. Pragmatics. Hey, you got to be careful on these, too. There's a Tiffany version, so like if you want to go out and start buying and you start looking at prices, you're like, oh, my gosh, Frank Thomas is like $500. No, no, it's Tiffany. Make sure you pay attention to that. Yeah, Omar Biscale, young Omar. Trying to see here. For some reason, that might be his rookie. I cannot remember if 90 was or not. We'll put up to the side. Barry Bonds, Trammel, Seiko has stuff in the bottom. There we go. They made up for Juan Gonzalez. Juan G. No Frankies. Alrighty, real quick. I don't know about Viscale if it's his rookie. Stuff I sleeved that I gotta look at and really measure up. Gonzalez rookie. I think PSA 10's around like 30 bucks on him. Griffey's like 18 to 20, but I I know top and bottom he's off. There's a Bernie. He's around 30. All of them probably the same. I know what's wrong with this one. It's tilted. I remember. Sammy Sosa, we did pull one, but that's not going to even come close to a, nine, or a 10. This one here I do have some faith in, left and right, top and bottom. It's not really tilted too much. But, like I said, it's all about opening and trying to find the PSA 10s. Like I said, you're not going to find your stars. Every single box is going to be PSA 10, so don't ever think that. All right. Uh, I did tell you I'd give you guys a sneak preview and stayed with this. So in the store, I put in late last night, you got two TJ Watt rookies in there. They're a combo, so you get both. Kevin Knox turning pro cracked ice from this year's contenders draft. Hint, hint. These two, oops, sorry. It's kind of hard once you get your gloves off. These two are together. They're Montero from Sterling. There is one batch. I think it's like 15 bucks for them both. Kellenic out of 50. And this is from uh, Bowman Draft. It's the uh, 20th anniversary thingy of it. So really cool. Alec Baum from Bowman's Best out of 25 Atomic. Those I just put in. I, I still got a ton more. It was just I was getting tired last night. And I kind of slacked off. So, guys, check the store at streamcarbreaks.com. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. We're so, getting so close to the uh, 2,000 mark. And I want to be able to give away. So, subscribe. Don't mind all the wax. Like the video. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when I'm live or I put a new video up so you guys can look at it. Again, I appreciate everybody's support. It's been a long, almost to be three years in February that we've been doing the breaks, and now we're starting to change because, as I say all the time, this industry changes. We have to change with it or come up with our own stuff. So thank you for supporting us through the years, and I will see you guys later this week. I have another box of 89 Fleer. We have 320 packs of 89 Don Russ. If we don't pull a Griffey out of those, man. All right. I will talk to you. And they were all loose packs, so, but it was out of an, uh, like an estate auction collection thing. Again, thanks, everybody. I won't take up much more of your time. I will catch you later this week.